Knights the Enlightened Gamer. Welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess, where last time we escorted Ilya and Telma successfully to Kakariko Village and discovered the Zora armor. We also uncovered a particular peculiar heart piece that I couldn't figure out how to... I'm always going to hit start every single time. Why does it bug me so much every time I do it? I couldn't figure out how to get this, and it was bothering me so much. Confession time, I looked it up. I looked it up. I could not figure it out for the life of me. Apparently, this is the only game in the history of the Zelda lore where you can pull heart pieces to you with the boomerang. Because if you could have done this, it would have broken Ocarina of Time, that's for sure. But I digress. We have plenty of bombs every time! We have plenty of water bombs to go on our way to the lake bed temple. We're gonna go and get the last piece of the fused shadow. But the question remains should we? With what it did to Darbus? How it corrupted a simple Deku Baba into Diababa? With what it did to the, its creators? Is it really worth the risk? Well, regardless... Really, game. Wow, that's a nice effect sound for blowing up the water bombs. Underwater, at least. Okay. We're just gonna keep on going. Why? <laughs> that was so stupid! To the Lakebed Temple. What many people to believe is the most frustrating dungeon temple dungeon in this game. Whatever. I personally like the Lakebed Temple. I mean, I know it's turn around y, but I think that the atmosphere is really interesting in there. Certainly a lot more developed than the Water Temple in Ocarina of Time. We're going to get right over the purple dot and then put on the iron boots to sink down fast. Did I make it? I guess we'll see. I'm not going to take him off. We're going to find out. Wow, this is taking a while. And I made it. This area is very simple. Since I'm not at all concerned about running out of water bombs, I'm gonna go on ahead and break some of these extra rocks. Ah, uh, that was reckless, careless. Come on, Link, move. Let's see if this rock even blows up. Oh, lots of yellow ruppies. 36 rupees. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. And we're going to go on ahead and drop this here. Just give you a nice little package. Turn right back around. Well, that was certainly worth the price of the water bomb. Now to the lake bed temple itself. Okay, and it blows up. And now 
now we can blow up the rock. Really? Really? There we go. I don't know how that got messed up the first time. And into the temple we go. This is quite literally the water temple from Ocarina of Time. Well, at least it was. It's in the exact same spot. Oh, giant clam! Jellyfish! Okay. In this room, we're going to encounter can encounter a familiar enemy from the Wind Waker series. And a few other of the earlier Zeldas. Well, sort of. Chew jellies! Let's get some strawberry chew. Every single time without fail! You know, if I could just do it once, I think it would stop bugging me so much. We got some strawberry jelly. I don't I think the grape jelly is really bad for you. Okay, that's enough with the small areas where I can't swing my sword. Okay. I guess I should mention a bit of misinformation really quick, even though it kind of grieves me to do so. I really greatly respect the people over at Game Theory. All of them. Ronnie, MatPat, Gaijin, and Drake. They're all really smart and they rarely make mistakes. But, I did discover a slight error on Game Theory's part in an earlier failed recording of this dungeon. You can swing your sword in Twilight Princess if you're underwater, so long as you're wearing the iron boots. Matt, in his, Zel in his Lynx vs. Lynx episode, while I still agree with his conclusion, said that the Link from Twilight Princess cannot use the Master Sword or the Hylian Sword or the Ordon Sword underwater. He can. Yep, we have to destroy the stalag. Whatever's. All right, very simple stuff here. Just don't waste any bombs and you're good to go. No, I don't want to go down there. What? Give me a camera angle. Give me a camera. That'll do. No, I want- I don't want to fight you! Weird... Snail... Boar... I just want to try and get- see as far as we can get into this dungeon. Because Lord knows this one's gonna take us more than two tries. Or more than two episodes. And ten more water bombs, and we are stuffed. Fifteen is the max, as I earlier speculated. Another Zora Sapphire Insignia, and we have 
the chamber, the whirlpool chamber. I'm pretty sure we do get down into the water eventually because there are enemies there. But I can't, I can't remember doing it, so. And before we get to go to the next room, we have a Dinolfos. Or a Dinolfos. Not that tough, but definitely one of the tougher enemies we've found. Okay. And panning shot of the room. This is the flood chamber. Ah. Our ability to navigate this room will determine our ability to complete this dungeon. It's as simple as that. And that looks like a small key or a dungeon map right over there. Looks like to do that, we have to grab that switch. We can't get there right now because there are barriers on the upper platform. That was annoying. I normally swing my sword to exit my view mode. Just kind of a reflex that I've had ever since Ocarina. Okay. We're going to grab this treasure chest really quick, which I think is going to be money. Oh, arrows. Funny thing, I did the exact same thing in the last record, in the failed recording of this. Don't worry, this is as far as I got before my camera stopped working. Or maybe worry, because this is as far as I got before my camera started stopped working. Start working! I need to words... Okay. We can't get in there because we need a key. Oh, it's Ukaku. We are last. We know, we know. You can give us the power we're not gonna use. I did run into some interesting trivia about Ukaku, though, recently. And uh, I will share that with you guys when it comes relevant. Ooh, we can exit, I mean, enter this flood chamber. Maybe we can't do anything here, though. If this turbine was w moving, we could enter that area, but it's not, and we can't. Oh, is that where the treasure chest was? I think this is where the treasure chest was. That's the thing about this dungeon opposed to the water temple. You can just kind of wander around, or at least I can, and normally find my way. Yup. Aww. What a shame. Wait, all hope is not. All hope is lost. We have a lot of money now. Too bad we pretty much already bought everything we're going to for the game. I don't want to fight you. You're a pain in all of the neck. Oh, this room. Uh. Okay, we're up here. Just gonna take a little shimmy across the vines. You know, these vines look like seaweed, and if that's the case, they would be so hard to grip.
That wasn't too bad. Maybe this will be the key that we were looking for. That was annoying. At least it's not too hard to get back up here. No, I want you to go up, Link. I don't know why. In every Zelda game I've ever played, that's been an issue that I've had. Just climbing up the vines. Link always seems to want to stop going up. And it must just be me, because I've never seen anybody else have that problem. But, such is life. Oh, goody. Please be a key. Good. Now we can maybe sort of start to advance, kind of. And I think after we use our first key, I'm going to call this episode. Maybe not. Maybe I'll go for a little bit longer. I probably should go for a little bit longer. Based off of what dungeon I'm in, it's going to take a while as is. Okay. You know, guys, even though I record in advance, and even though I... Up to this point, I haven't played any suggested games or recommendations, I really do appreciate your ideas and your thoughts on projects. Oh! We don't even need that, I don't think. At least not yet. Well, now that we have the key, we can start the flood waters rolling on through. I don't want you. Mmm. I am sorry. I am struggling tonight. Uh, I'm recording late and I'm probably only going to be able to record just one episode tonight which means I'm not going to be able to get very far ahead so but that's what happens when you have a life outside of just your job you know when you treat something like your job especially if you don't get paid yeah, I'm pretty sure we already had the max. Oh wait, we used one. Okay, let's do some science. Because that totally made sense. There's got to be somewhere to go in this room. There we go. Just as I thought. And now we can scale this wall and get headed towards the water outlet. Go up, Link. Again, I don't know why. I'm, I seem to be the only person that has that issue. You know, let's just take the time to appreciate what Link is doing here. He is climbing a wall of slimy seaweed with flippers on. That is six kinds of impressive. Every time. Please, 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 please. Yes! Okay. Let's go on ahead and slip through the gear. And the sub boss. 
or whatever. This is very reminiscent to the boss in the third in the water temple in Majora's Mask. Except I don't believe I don't I don't remember how to hurt you. I don't remember how to do a thing. Hey, I did it! I did it! Finally, I did it! Okay, I'm having a hard time figuring this out. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, in Majora, you just use the ice arrows to break his bubble. But we don't have ice arrows or fire arrows. All we have is bombs. I guess it's worth a try. And it worked. It was really that simple the whole time. I was way overthinking that one. Overthinking is sometimes some, is something that I occasionally do. Obviously. But... And this should be the Kiwi Me. It is. Now we can actually start the water flow going. We don't need any more jelly. If you don't get the red ones fast enough, I mean the strawberry ones fast enough, the grape chews will swallow them up. You know what? I don't need to deal with you now because we are done with this area of the dungeon. And the camera rolled over. I'm gonna try and avoid. Soon as I open my mouth, we're gonna just try and fly through this last room really quick. Then I'm gonna pull the plug on this episode. Even though it's only been a few minutes, it's actually been quite a while, quite a bit longer because of the failed recording. And that's how to quickly hop down a ladder or a vine in a Zelda title. And we're almost up to our max 300 rupees. You know, it's kind of weird that the wallet sizes fluctuate a lot amongst the Zelda games. And I do appreciate the bigger wallets because it's a little bit longer before you... It's funny, anytime you drop off a ledge in the Zora armor, Link dives like he's diving into water. Well, this is a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I must be remembering one later in the dungeon. And I have no audio. Oh well, we're almost at the end of this episode anyways. I won't be missing out on much. And just as I remembered, climb that ladder in your flippers, Link. We're gonna have to remember that treasure chest and get it later. And the water flow has returned. Which means. We even Ninjo knows how to have fun sometimes. Eee. No, get the mean bugs off the slide, mommy. 
That's right. I do know how to have fun sometimes. I'm definitely a stick in the mud, and I'm definitely set in my ways. But I do know how to have fun. And it looks like this is how we open up that door. This should finish off this room, at least until we need that treasure chest. Who knows, it could be the compass and I might not need it at all. Even though it's still nice to have the compass. And if you've been noticing the grates at the bottoms of all the doors in this temple, you'll notice that it's there so that the water can flow through them. So we're gonna go back to the main chamber, then I'm gonna kill this. Even, I know I keep on extending it, but don't worry. This is really the last extension. And we can now... We're stuck. Gotta figure this. Oh crud! I found a fairy and I wasted it. That's lame. There aren't any stalactites. I must not be able to leave this way. This must have just been a uh, grab them for prizes. Really? There we go. I was getting invisible walled a bit. And we can take a shortcut across here, but you'll see with all the gears spinning that this area is spinning too now. Hope we're going to have to try and remember that the next time we're in this dungeon. And by we, I mean me, because you guys aren't actually playing the game. Anyway, this has been Ninjo X Let's Plays. The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I am Ninjo X the Enlightened Gamer. Until next time, stay enlightened. Hey everybody, Ninjo X here. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I really appreciate the support. If you want to give more support, why not click the like button if you liked what you saw, or consider subscribing if you really enjoyed it. Also, feel free to click on any of my other projects, my vlogs, my side, my last Let's Play, which was Pokemon Blue, and just share, talk about it in the comments section, and enjoy yourselves. As I've already said, stay enlightened. <laughs>